Assalamu alaikum viewers today i am discussing about the most important topic of biology that is called the liver and its functions and about the hepatitis so first of all we see that what is a liver liver is the largest solid organ of the body liver is largest solid organ of our body it consists of two lobes that is called right lobe and the other is called left lobe the size of the liver is approximately equal to rugby ball and its size in centimeter is 10.7 cm in man and 7 cm in woman its color its color is reddish brown in color and weight about 1.8 kg in man and 1.3 kg in woman location where is the liver located look its location is the right upper area of the abdomen this is the right area and below the ribs this is present in the abdomen area in the right area of the abdomen like here it is present functions it performs so many functions and it is a vital organ it is the central station of the metabolism so there are some important functions are listed here uh, although it perform more than 300 different functions i listed here some important ones one of them is bile production liver is involved in the production of bile and this bile is involved in the digestion of fat it emulsifies fats number 2 is the filtering of toxin from your body it filters many of the toxin that have been come from different things from our food from water or some other sources so it filters these toxin and the process is called detoxification it detoxify the harmful effects of toxin so it is a very important for us in this respect number third is the excretion of bilirubin bilirubin is the breakdown of old red blood cells and so is it is involved in the excretion of bilirubin the next is the is it is involved in the digestion digestion of all kinds of food uh food particles uh, food nutrients that are carbohydrates proteins and lipids all of these three are digested by the liver number 5 is the storage of glycogen it is a reserve product of human body glucose is reserved in the form of glycogen and minerals like iron and vitamins a d e k these are stored in the liver and they perform a very important function in our body number 6 is the activation of enzymes number 7 synthesis of blood proteins like albumin that regulate our osmotic balance in our body and activation of different kinds of enzyme are all involved in the functions of liver and the last one is the synthesis of clotting factors blood clotting proteins like fibrinogen and prothrombin are synthesized in, in our liver and they play an important role in our body so these are the some important functions that have been performed by the liver so liver is too much sensitive organ that is sometimes be affected by some viral infection and some others and it will be inflamed this is the inflammation of the liver is called hepatitis hepatitis mean inflammation of liver size of the liver is involved in the case of hepatitis in case the causes of the hepatitis are so many for example here are listed alcohol these are the important causes that are one is alcohol due to alcohol this is called alcoholic hepatitis due to some drugs interactions due to some toxin the liver inflamed due to viral infection and due to autoimmune 
diseases autoimmune in case of autoimmune our immune system sometimes act against our liver tissues and liver uh, in the result will be inflamed types of viral hepatitis from all of these viral hepatitis are very important these are different kinds for example a b c d and e hepatitis a is called hav hepatitis b is called hpv hepatitis c is called hcv and hepatitis d is called hdv whereas hepatitis e is called he There are common names of these hepatitis. For example, H A is H A B is called the infectious hepatitis, whereas hepatitis B is called the serum hepatitis, and hepatitis C is called non A and non B, and hepatitis D is called delta hepatitis. And these are uh, the structures of these uh, uh, viral hepatitis. For example, HIV consists of RNA non-enveloped. Hepatitis B consists of DNA viruses, and hepatitis C consists of RNA enveloped viruses, and hepatitis D consists of RNA viruses. These are the different viruses that cause the uh, hepatitis. From them, these uh, hepatitis B, C, and D they are very crucial for us because many of the people are involved in these hepatitis there are uh, hepatitis are of two types that is one is acute and the another is called the chronic in case of acute the infection is not more than 6 months average but this is uh, uh, different in different viral hepatitis but usually the 6 months in case below the 6 month infection after infection and after infection 6 month if it, it will be remain then it will be acute after that it will remain it will become the chronic in case of most of the cases in acute hepatitis there is no need of treatment uh, people mostly take care take a plenty of water and automatically they will be healthy but in case of chronic in chronic conditions uh, the patient will show the cirrhosis uh, of the liver and uh, ultimate is the liver cancer symptoms symptoms of hepatitis most commonly symptoms are they are written and uh, some people during infection do not show symptoms they are asymptomatically but at the later stage they will show these types of symptoms one is or is the abdominal pain the second is fever these are the symptoms abdominal pain fever weight loss pain jaundice jaundice means yellowing of eyes and dark hue loss of appetite and flu like symptoms these are the uh, various symptoms that may be all are present or few of them are present in a body a person shows in case of hepatitis a transmission of these viruses a b c d and e these transmission of hepatitis a that is called the infectious hepatitis the it is transmitted through the feces of the infected persons so uh, it should so we so we should have to improve our uh, hygienic conditions we can minimize the hepatitis a condition whereas hepatitis b and c and d these are uh, be spread through the blood transfusions or uh, blood contaminated syringes razors and some other products and through the free sexual contact in case of hepatitis e this is a bottom born disease and uh, pig may be considered as the source of hepatitis c some say that the pig is the reservoir or source of hepatitis b virus transmission whereas hepatitis d that is called as a delta virus it is linked with hepatitis b if the patient have the hepatitis b then it will have the 
may have the hepatitis B. Some persons are with hepatitis B and some persons have both hepatitis B and D. But hepatitis D, hepatitis, hepatitis, hepatitis D will not be occur alone. It will be present only when the hepatitis B is present. How we can be minimize or uh, we can be prevented these viral hepatitis? So, in case of uh, hepatitis A and hepatitis B, vaccines is present of hepatitis A and hepatitis B. In case of B, the vaccine is recombinant DNA technology, is a product of recombinant DNA technology, and, and it is available in the market in NGVX like name. So, uh, Hepatitis C and other viruses have no vaccine yet. We can avoid or we can prevent from these viral infections by avoid pre-sexual contact, blood screening while giving uh, some person blood to the other. The blood screening is very important. First of all, we see that the patient has uh, a viral infection before or not. So we have to screen out their viral hepatitis virus is present or not. In case of third, uh, improve hygienic conditions, avoid sharing needles, syringes, toothbrush, and other personal items. This is a brief outline of the liver and hepatitis. In case of uh, treatment, in case of treatment of hepatitis, different drugs are available. In case of hepatitis A, there is uh, no need of such a drugs. Sometimes patients need some drugs, but mostly, most of the people become healthy from the hepatitis A. Its uh, mortality rate is not so much high. In case of hepatitis B, this is most widely spread in our world, like in Asia, South American countries. This uh, will be treated in two kinds of medicine by interferon and some other antiviral drugs. Interferons are the proteins that are against these viruses. It, it acts against these viruses. In case of hepatitis C, this is uh, now the uh, most of the patients will be recovered fully from hepatitis C by taking some antiviral drugs and interferons. So, it, it, its care rate is approximately is equal to 100%. In case of D, uh, this is a very crucial and very uh, harmful virus in our body. If D and B both are present, it will lead to the patient cancer and it will be very fatal for us. So, D is very uh, dangerous for us. So, this will be a, a drugs only interferon is present against the hepatitis B, but its results are not so good. One from approximately 3% uh, will be recovered, approximately 25% uh, recovered rate from B. In case of E, uh, most of the patient will be recovered soon, but the patient that have weak immune system they will be affected by hepatitis E virus. Hepatitis F and G are also present, but they have not been identified yet. Uh, research has been going on. So, thank you very much. Please subscribe my channel for more videos.